In this lesson, I want to talk about something that's kind of important, really. It's the difference between a background and a layer. Let me go ahead and move the layers panel over here. If you want to follow along, go ahead and pick up backgroundsandlayers.psd in your working folder. I have two layers and one background. Technically speaking, it's not the background layer. I mean, you can use that term. Nobody's going to, you know, like arrest you. But it's not a layer. You see, you can have type layers, you can have shape layers, you can have transparent layers that you paint on, you can have layers out of anything, but you can only have one background. You only get one of these things. So let's look at the difference between the two. If I pick either of my layers and I pick up my move tool, I already have that selected, I can move the doggy. I can change the blending mode of the dog. I can change the dog's opacity. I can lock its transparent areas. I can change my fill commands. I can add an FX effect to it. I can do anything I want. It does support transparency, of course, because it is on a transparent layer. So if I pick up, say, my eraser tool and come over here on the doggy and begin erasing, if I turn off background, it is transparent. And that's something that's probably not all that new. You figure that out. Now, if I go to background, I want you to watch what happens to the stuff up here. See it all gray out? Blending modes, opacities, transparent locking. Backgrounds can't be moved. They cannot be erased. They don't support transparency. You cannot put effects onto a background. It will always be named background, and it will be italicized, and you'll always see a little lock right over here. Now, if I take that eraser tool, and go to the background and come over here and begin erasing. Since it doesn't support transparency, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but it actually is. It's painting with the background color over here. That's why that is called actually the background color. Now, if I take this little arrow button right here, see it, and click it, that reverses foreground to background, or I can press the letter X on my keyboard to achieve the same goal. Now, if I come back over to, say, light bulb, I still have the eraser and I come over here and begin erasing, it's going to erase it. It's going to do exactly what I want it to do. It's making those pixels transparent pixels. However, if I go to the background, since the background doesn't support transparency, if I begin painting, now you could say erasing, but basically what I'm doing is I'm using the background color with the eraser because since a background does not support transparency, the eraser will paint whatever the background color is. You say, well, what if I do need transparency in a background, Andy? Well, all you really have to remember is just to rename it. If I double click on the word background, I can give it a new name here if I want. Click OK. It's now a layer. So the very same tool, the eraser tool, now actually erases. All of my options up here, blending modes, opacities, everything is now available for me. You say, why do we even need a background? And that is such a valid question. The answer, a lot of the formats that we use do not support things like effects and transparency, like a JPEG. So I need a vehicle in the Layers panel where I can work, where it will emulate these formats that don't support all the good stuff. At least that's my take on what a background is. It's possible someday there will not exist a format that doesn't support what goes on in Photoshop, and in my opinion, a background would then be unnecessary. Let me show you one more thing, though. Andy, I need to put this into a background so I can see what it's going to look like when I save it, say, as a JPEG. Can I put this into a background? Can I reverse the procedure? And the answer is yes. If I come up to this button right here and go down to flatten the image, watch what happens. Okay, what happened is it goes back to a background, lose all my control, lose my transparency, that area here went away, and now we can view it as if it's, say, well, like a JPEG or something else. Backgrounds and layers. There's a big difference between the two. We still need both but understand how to change it and how to work with them.